are now getting into the spring cleaning season, if you haven't done it already. But you know, those cleaning supplies can be very expensive. Well, Derek Christian is the owner and founder of My Made Services, and he has a few great tips to give you a hand this year. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, one thing that people ask about all the time is bathroom cleaners. It's a tough area. That is to the tough one. Yeah, it's probably the toughest area to clean in the house. So this is a pretty strong formulation. What we do is we take a cup of vinegar and a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide, and you mix it in a, water bo in a bottle like this, about 32 ounces, and fill it up with water. The reason why that works is vinegar is an acid, so it's going to melt the hard water stains on the shower. Uh, okay. And vinegar and hydrogen peroxide both kill mold. And then finally, hydrogen peroxide is actually a bleaching agent, so it's going to get rid of those pink and black stains really? that get left behind. Yep. And if you want, you can add a little bit of scent to it. This is sort of the unscented formula. That's up to you, but we just uh, give you the chemicals, and then you can add the scent to it. Basics that a lot of people probably already have in their home. Exactly. All right, now, you also said marble. Yeah, marble and granite, one. natural stone, also gets brought up a lot. And after 15 years in the business, what we found works best is you put about a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol and four to five drops of Dawn into the same 32-ounce bottle with water. And the reason why is granite, in, in particular, is very vulnerable to acid. So keep the vinegar away uh, on that, that would be one. the tricky one. Okay. Exactly. And it tends to clean with a gray haze on it. And what you see most of the time is actually residue left behind by the cleaning products. And using this rubbing alcohol, a few drops of Dawn will get it clean, won't hurt the granite, and it doesn't leave that gray haze behind. All right, those are easy enough tips. Yeah. I like that. Now, this, I think, we were talking about this briefly, is yeah. a great idea I wouldn't have thought of on my own. Well, exactly. All the professionals try to get the houses done as quickly as possible. And what we do is we use aprons like this. And the idea is you want to carry all your supplies with you so you're not running around. And this very apron, everyone gets from basically the same place, which is a company called The Clean Team, over the Internet. But you can also go and buy a tool belt at Home Depot for a couple dollars and carry a few sp uh, key tools in there. Scrub brush, a magic eraser, and one of my favorites is a plastic scraper. Yeah, and explain this one to me. The reason why is particularly in the kitchen where you have all that cooked on food and baked on things onto the surfaces, you can scrub it forever. You can just pop it off with a plastic scraper. It costs about 97 cents, saves you a lot of time. Be sure to use plastic, though. If you use metal, you could potentially damage the surfaces uh, where plastic's a lot safer. So we always hear about elbow grease, but this sounds like smart elbow grease. Yeah, you want to try to minimize <laughs> the elbow grease as much as you can. And obviously, we've got a small brush to get into areas. We've got a magic eraser, which is a great all-purpose tool. We recommend you carry some extra cleaning cloths. Instead of rinsing it out all the time, just throw the dirty one in the laundry, grab a grab clean a one, one, and go. Exactly. Uh, and I have to, these are tips that you use? These are tips that we use. This is what all 40 of our cleaning people use every single day. And we typically clean two to three houses a day per person using these type of systems. Great advice as we head into spring, Derek from My Made Services. Oh, well, thank thank you. you so much. Nice to meet you. All right, time to